Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja. So today we're going to go on to part two of Quick Office Pro HD for the Zoom Honeycomb. Um, in this part we're going to be taking special notice of the editor. Um, so I'm going to take out my keyboard and uh, let's begin. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to let's go back to PowerPoint. I liked this one in particular just because everything looked a, a little bit sharper because everything lined up so you can actually make and edit powerpoints um, on on the fly so you can click on the pictures that's actually not a picture though so you can see I can move wherever I want I can choose to can it double so you have to double tap to get rid of it you can choose to expand you can choose to make it smaller and then click done you can edit the text I'm going to use my keyboard and there's a little bit of lag and I don't know if you can hear my typing Hello again, everyone. There is some lag here. So you can see there is some lag, but um, so that's the, it's somewhat disappointing. Um, click on the title though. can highlight certain text and you can say delete oh and it closed so and that could be due to the graphical nature of the uh, the PowerPoint itself but as you can see this is not a fully polished uh, studio yet but approval of testing And you can see that there's just there, there there is some just lag that's embedded. But if I hold shift and go to the left, oh it's not gonna highlight. So the keyboard, unlike if you were using Gmail and some of the other um, Google applications, it, it it actually doesn't highlight in the PowerPoint um, when you're holding shift and you're zooming. So that's Disappointing, but you can always double click and then you can format the text, italicize it, make it smaller, change the color to blue, use the wheel if you want. So there there is some there is some customization there. So that's you know a decent overview of PowerPoint. Let's uh let's now go into Word. So similar to PowerPoint, you can double click um, to highlight words. You can actually rotate them. You can, you can shrink them and skew them any way you want. And it does a fairly good job at doing things like that. You can copy. Um, if you wanted to add and in, in, insert, you know, you, we could take an image or we can insert an image from the gallery. So let's just insert an image from dinner. We can adjust the, the width and the height and to, its rotation. Let's just insert it as is. And there we go. We inserted a picture in. Pretty sweet. Um, let's go down to some text you can see we can look at the text fairly well, we'll click in delete hello 
there is less delay here, so it's much more effective to type in. Hooray. So you can see the lag is, is, is much better. And, uh, you can see that if you wanted to highlight, oh, you can hold down to select text to take an image to insert into gallery um, to select text, which I was trying to do. And, and now that the text is selected, I can actually hold down shift and use the arrows. Actually, you don't have to hold down shift, excuse me. You just, you, you can use the arrows on your keyboard to highlight. And then up here you can copy Unfortunately, the and actually the shift works here. I do not think control. Yeah, and they don't. The control um, copy and paste don't work yet, but hopefully in, in future releases it will. But we um, we did copy, so let's let's go and paste. Um, we'll hold down. Click paste, and you can see it pasted, and we can. Excuse me, let's go back. And um, we can highlight, and you can see we can change the text and make it bold, and so forth. So cool. Um, so we'll just discard that. And then last but not least, let's look at editing Excel. You can see if we wanted to perhaps change this equation, click up here, and We can just do select, and then we can do a function. If we want, we could do a sum, and then we could do the sum of the qu of quantities, and we can select the quantities, and then check it off, and then you can see six plus six plus six plus three equals twenty-one. So it uh it's very effective and and um, you can use it as a, a regular Excel um, do note that I, I did highlight uh, unit cost as well in there but um, it didn't it didn't count it because it was text um, but it did not give an error so there there is some um, error handling that you can see that is just ignored However, um, you know, you can you can edit whatever you want, make equations and use Excel pretty pretty much um in the basic form that you would in in uh in the regular office suite. No, I'm not huge in Excel. I usually use it for just budgets and things like that. So basic summations and multiplication and um a, f a few graphs. Um and I don't think this does graphs. So, uh, but if it, if it does, I will, I will do an update video of it, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So, um, thank you everyone. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, um, please like. Um, please subscribe for daily video updates. I do, uh, reviews on even paid applications and also look and uh, try to fulfill your requests on anything that you would like to see. As you know, this is a paid app. It's fifteen dollars so look up quick office hd if you think it's uh, worth the buy and uh... have a great day thank you